Hey, we're going to get a little bit dicey. We're going to be talking some politics. They say you should never talk about religion, politics, or I forget what the third one is. Um, but we're going to talk about some politics today because as we know, we have an election coming up if you are listening to this in the U.S. And uh, a lot of things going on with that. Good, bad, ugly. But I think there's some ways we can use this to our advantage. Yes, we're going to jam on that and a whole lot more. Thank you for coming to the show and trusting us to help you further advance in your solar career. And as always, we're here to help you close more deals, generate more leads and referrals, and have a much better time in the solar industry. Um, So before we jump into this, I wanted to uh, remind people, I'm sure you've heard at this point, they've been supporting the show for a couple months now. But if you have not already, go check out Solar Scouts. Um, these guys, they have a great deal for a great offer for our listeners. And for me personally, they've changed the game on just how I prospect the data it gives you when you're out on the doors. Or even if you're not on the doors, you can implement just you know customer data, phone numbers, emails, an insane amount of data it gives you when you're prospecting. So go check it out if you haven't already. The link is in the show notes, but I believe it's just solarscout.app forward slash uh, solarpreneur. Might be Taylor. Um, Anyway, look in the show notes because probably butchered that. But uh, check them out and you will not be disappointed. Okay, so let's jump into the show. So um, I recently went to Utah. Um, I had a little family reunion there. Um, Hung out with... My sister that just got back from a church mission, hadn't seen her for 18 months. And uh, it's about a seven hour, six and a half hour drive or so from San Diego where I'm at. Um, We went to Southern Utah, so not terrible. On this drive, um, always looking for things to listen to. Uh, I definitely jump on YouTube, listen to a lot of solar content from guys on there. Um, I'm you know, I'm, I'm always trying to learn more about sales, listen to audiobooks, audible, but, uh, I will admit I got in a deep dive on some of the, um, you know, press conferences that Trump has been doing and, um, just hearing from all different angles, even, uh, jump on CNN, Fox news, just hearing all, all the different angles of what's going on. And I get sucked into this stuff, stuff sometimes, Okay, and I do want, I am pro-Trump. I hope Trump wins. Okay, so hopefully I don't lose too, too many listeners over that. But, uh, you know, as far as I, I'm concerned, Kamala is just super radical. Um, it's going to take the country in a very bad direction if she gets elected, in my opinion. Okay, but um, some people, some opinions that people have are that Kamala is way more pro-solar Um, that the solar industry is going to be destroyed if Trump takes office. I don't think that's necessarily true. I think Trump did. We had a ton of growth in solar. If you look back to when Trump was president. Hey, but, um, that being said, there are things that could potentially change and it's just something to be aware of. How could our industry change, uh, depending on what happens with the election? And the main point that I want to make today in this show is we should all be using this to our advantage to create uncertainty for people, um, to create urgency, most importantly, of why they should go solar now, because depending on what happens, solar could change. Okay, I don't think it will drastically, okay, but um, we should be using this to help our potential customers um, st- take the next steps and go solar. Okay, so I'm going to talk about three ways we can use this uncertainty and these potential changes coming up to close more deals and to add urgency. Okay, and I would just invite you, wherever you're listening to this, pay attention to your local uh, happenings, politics, whatever. These are all things we can use to our advantage and just create reasons for people to go solar. Because I think one of the toughest things of this job is getting people to take action. It's like, let's be honest, solar is never at the top of anyone's home improvements list, or at least very rarely it is. And um, it's just one of the toughest parts, I think, is just getting people to take action now when they can always find reasons to put it off, 
to wait till panels get more efficient to wait till more people on their street do it, whatever. There's a million reasons that people uh, want to wait sometimes. So our job is to get, to build the urgency and get people to take action now. And this, I think right now what's going on is one of the best ways to create more urgency and use it to our advantage. Okay. So let's talk about the three things you can do. Okay. And so I broke it down to setting, closing, and in your follow-ups. Okay. So here's what I would do and here's what I'm going to do. Okay. And so whether you are setting, whether you're closing, whether you're a company owner, whether you're marketing, there's ways you can use this. Okay. So first let's talk about how we can use the politics in setting. Okay. So you're out on the doors, you're knocking doors, you're trying to get people to book an appointment. Okay. So what I am going to experiment with and what I know will help is saying a line similar to list, something like, Hey, We've had a ton of inquiries about the program now just because of incentives that are potentially expiring. Are you guys familiar with the Green New Deal? Hey, you can talk about the Inflation Reduction Act, Green New Deal, which go look that up if you don't know the details on it. You don't know, have to know all the details. Um, and then, you know, most people are going to be like, no, what's that? Okay, so you tell them. And so depending on what happens with the election, a lot could change. So we're having all these inquiries, just making sure we can get people the current incentives available for renewables. Okay, because right now the people that take that we're able to help on this program, they don't have to pay anything out of pocket. Okay, so just saying lines like that, you could even print off a little slick to use. Um, you know, show people um, details about what the current incentives are, um, about the Green New Deal. Inflation Reduction Act, those are all things you could pull up, you know, either on your phone or even better print off a little slick to use it. Okay, so um, experiment with that in setting and I may do a follow up on this because um, I'm these are just things that I'm doing real time. I'm going to start implementing this as I am setting appointments on the doors. So would love to hear people's feedback. How are you using um, the elections, the politics to your favor? It when you're setting and closing and follow-ups but these are some of my ideas and things that i'm going to start implementing and trying okay and so the second one in closing all right so you got in the appointments you're sitting down to do the deal okay so here's where i would use the um the political environment right now to build urgency when you're in the close okay and that is during the fact finding Right. One of, I think, the best ways um, to pre frame the deal is to add urgency. You know, you go over what's been your experience with solar. Have you guys looked into solar? What would you want to get going solar? Ask your like fact finding questions, right? And then you're going to do the pre frame. And before you do the pre frame, you got to sprinkle in the urgency because you want to give people the reason why you're going to get the ball rolling with them today. Right. So what I would do is something like this. Right. You've been through the fact finding. Then you're pre framing. You say something like, hey, I'm the application guy for the neighborhood. Um, I know solar isn't the number one priority for more, most people. But the reason why so many of your neighbors are trying to get in um, right now is because what could change after the election? Hey, I'm not here to talk politics, but depending on what happens, there could be a huge change in the renewable energy incentives that would make solar way more expensive and not make sense for a lot of homes because of that we're in three to four appointments a day right now so i just don't have much time to come back okay so what we'll do today um if it makes sense i'll help you guys take some next steps and see if we can get the home approved submit some forms to lock in those incentives um, but if it doesn't look good or doesn't make sense then we won't do anything okay, does that sound fair boom Okay, so something like that. And this is where um, you want to have some way to build urgency. Okay, even if you're not using the political stuff, the election, um, you definitely want to be adding some type of urgency builder when you are framing the deal. Um, something I think is very important and that I didn't do for a long time. And I would get pushback sometimes because I would try to pre-frame the deal, but I wasn't giving people a reason why they should 
get the ball rolling with me today, right? So um, that's how I would use it in closing. Okay, and then in closing, <laughs> pun intended, the last one, step number three, is follow up. Okay, um, I have been terrible at following up in throughout my solar career. It's something I'm working on a lot now that I do did not knew that I didn't do much of in the past. But if you um, were to follow up with people, um, what I would suggest is take a list of all your people that did not sign up with you over the past year, or it could be even longer, but start with the past year if you can. And then go back and look at all your appointments that maybe they're really interested, didn't sit. This makes for a great follow-up text, great follow-up voicemail. And I would definitely recommend using a CRM. Um, myself, currently, I use one called CRMX. Um, it's high level. It's uh, my friend Brent Attaway. He has his custom high level setup called CRMX. Um, let me know if you want to hear more about, about that. I think we also have it linked in the show notes. Um, but it makes it really easy because you can just have all your lists of people already organized in there and you can send out like a massive um, follow up text um, with the software. Okay, but compile lists. You could, even if you don't have a CRM, just put together a list and then just look up any article, right? You could look up any article about the Green New Deal, about the Inflation Reduction Act, same thing that you could potentially print off to use as a slick on the doors. And you can send this out to your entire list of people okay, and just say something like, hey, um, Joe, it's been a long time since we last talked. It's Taylor, the solar guy that had come by. Um, reason I'm reaching out is because, um, as you may or may not know, with elections coming up, there could be some massive changes in renewable energy incentives. And so we're, we're reaching out one last time just to get um, people the maximum is incentives available before um, some big potential changes. Uh, let me know if you have five minutes and we can get you some info on the current incentives, something like that. Okay, um, so anything's better than nothing. Hey, but I guarantee if you send this out to at least 100 people, you should get a few responses back. And I think you should easily be able to get a closed deal off of that. Just sending out a text that's a legitimate reason why people should look into it now, even if they were too busy or were ghosting you, whatever happened. Okay, so there you have it. That's the three ways I would use politics to your advantage right now. Okay, and if you are listening to this, Maybe after the election, or maybe things have calmed down. Maybe there's not any looming changes with uh, politics or whatever's going on. Um, just take the principles of this and again, look for things that are changing with your current utility. Whatever reasons um, you have to build urgency, you can almost just plug and play the similar responses, similar word tracks, and send them out. Okay, and then last thing I wanted to mention, if you need more help with setting up um, a CRM, with getting exact scripts to send to your um, leads and your customers or your um, people that haven't signed yet, this is something we do extensively in our coaching group, in our coaching program. Um, we have a few recent spots that have opened up. So if you are interested in taking your follow-up game to another level, your sales game to another level, and hitting numbers you never imagined were possible. Shoot me an email, taylor at solarpreneurs.com, and we can send you an application, Get on, hop on a call, see if it's something that would be a good fit for you. So um, that's it for the episode, guys. Again, let me know if there's any other ways you have thought of on how you can use politics to your advantage. Remember, don't you don't want to get in a rabbit hole with your customers in okay, case so you can bring this up. But I would recommend not, you know, getting too much into politics um, because you don't want that to be the reason why they don't sign just because maybe you love Trump and they hate Trump. Maybe uh, you love Kamala and they hate Kamala, whatever. 
you don't want that to be the reason why they don't go solar. We all know this. People are very passionate right now. Um, it can cause a lot of contention, um, you know, depending on people's opinions. So regardless of your opinions, let's all be civil about this and let's use these things to our advantage and go make a ton of money before these elections, whatever happens and help a lot of people even more important than money. Okay. So that's it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for listening and uh, go sell some solar.